and the rebound is off, and here comes Kevin Williams. Cross court pass to Ellis. Ellis drives around Kareem underneath reverse. Ah, oh, what a reverse layup! Ellis with a fling from three, Woo! and he is hit five. Pass now. There is Ellis. Ellis three. fires for Kareem. When you're a high-scoring college superstar with a stylish pro game and a celebrated NBA first-round pick, you might expect instant stardom. But for Dale Ellis, reality was a seat at the end of the bench. It was very difficult, yeah, as, as a college All-American. You think that you're going to go into a situation, a professional team, and turn it around. You're going to be the star on the team because you've been the star all your life. I was playing behind two All-Americans with Lando Black, Blackman and uh, Mark McGuire. So I had to understand that you know, playing time wasn't going to be that. I just happened to be the odd man out. Shipped to the Sonics, Ellis quickly became the man in Seattle as he improved his scoring average by a league record 18 points. And revenge would cap this storybook season. Seattle had engineered the playoff upset, and the Mavs, a team built on draft choices, were haunted by the one that had gotten away. Which gave me an opportunity to ask me if I thought I could get the job done. I said, yeah, that's where I want to play. And uh, he brought me along slowly and schooled me. I was very patient and uh, he taught me a lot. And uh, still, for at this, this point in my career, it's still a learning process for me. Well, I'll tell you, whether it's June, July, May, August, September, it doesn't matter. He plays the basketball, he gets after it. I, I don't think I pat him on the tail enough or pat him on the back. But I think I've got to do a better job uh, of doing that because those guys are the guys that you win with. Dale Ellis is our superstar. He's our leader. And, and on many nights, we go as ego. And that's one of the biggest pleasures for me this year is getting that ball off the glass for a guy like Dale. You know what? And when he goes back down there on the other of the floor, nine times out of ten, he's going to do something with that ball. They're going to take it out of the bottom of the deck. I've been successful simply because I'm playing within a system that is um, that works around the two guard and allows me to have a lot of freedom offensively. And we do actually job executing our offense and you guys do a good job getting the ball. But the Sonics guard is a creator who is perennially among the top scorers in the NBA. In Seattle, he has a loyal following who may have finally found a home. I feel secure in that, and, and, uh, and being in Seattle is where I'm wanted to be. Uh, with the new team, with the, the time we have, I feel that we have the ability to win a championship and something that I wanted to be a part of.